Welcome to the Philippine Native Chicken Karagdagang Kaalaman Now, in terms of housing, uh, be there stocks natin. No, please, follow the uh, iba housing para sa ating mga be stocks. Ibig sabihin po, you can adapt the uh, design. But in terms of material, depende na po sa inyo. If you have the ample resources and if you want to copy the CPU technology, the, the, the CPU material, have it be copied. No, but in terms of GI pipes, if you are going to use it, that is schedule 20. No, uh, one half inch GI pipe and uh, that is locally uh, manufactured. No, do not buy the imported one. Uh, uh, and then, no, if you'll be using what they call the local materials, as you have seen in the in the photo, no, can use bamboo, wood, and uh, nipa shingles. So those are what they call the housing for the builder stocks. Next is in terms of what they call the uh, growing house. Sa so, growing house naman, uh, side by side, uh, makikita nyo all of it, no, all of it is uh, based on the CPU design. What uh, only vary there is in terms of the material being used. Uh, Pastor recovery rate, tandaan natin, again, is uh, locally available materials. In terms of the brooder, no, brooder house, uh, that is intended for our chicks. No, ito naman, ang sa CPU, sa kabila po naman, that is what they call the uh, houses that we have no, for the brother. Pamalaki yan kasi ito. No, kaya lang problema natin, medyo malaki ng investment. But the one that is on your, uh, sa harapan po nyo, on the right side. No, uh, that is what they call the uh, movable uh, brother cage. No, uh, as I mentioned, the design no, kangina, no, uh, ang, ang kanyang dimension po na mention ko na kangina and you can found it in the uh, materials that are written na kasama po dito sa ating uh, webinar. No, uh, in terms of the design of the housing para po mas makasave po kayo, no, uh, you can use the design that we have in the grower house. Sundan po nyo yan, mas makatipid po kayo. Uh, hindi na to sa may bandang kaliwa po nyo because it will entail about millions of capital. No, medyo malaki-laki, but in terms of the... Um, ito kasi nyo sa kaliwa nyo, this is the design that we developed talaga noon, intended for what they call the... Um, ang tawag namin doon is uh, pro-contract growing. No, kaya lang medyo nagka-problema ng konti, yung kung bakit that uh, hindi pa namin uh, itin tuloy yan. But we are recommending for the, 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 the new design that we have, the practical one. Para po at least mas mabilis po ninyo madap as what we have uh, noticed po uh, right now all throughout the Philippines the design for housing of the Philippine native chicken is circulating all throughout the Philippines alos marami na po ng adapt yan na uh, following what they call the measurement that we have na uh, sa parang ganon uh, next is in terms of what they call the uh, water source na uh, water source uh, isa kasi to sa mga critical na bahagi po natin na isang tubig kasi pag uh, hindi mo kasi yan binigay na pag nilagay nyo kasi yan sa painungan po the water serve as a uh, agent no, for the pastor distribution of infection yung kung bakit na <laughs> sa amin dito ginagawa po namin yan na that is a controlled uh, pre-flowing but uh, if you have what they call the electric motor with the pressure tank no, at least, uh, yan ang pili po nyo gamitin But make sure na meron pa kayong timer At saka sunod bulb Kasi ang timer na kasi na yan Yan ang nagugubern kung kailan pang bukas yung uh, Tawag dito yung uh, sunod bulb no? So usually po, may mga time yan no? na Kung saan pili nyo buksan But uh, make sure that the pre-flowing of water no, Lalo na po uh, during the warmer part of the day no, It should be a continuous one But the uh, sabi natin is that it should be a controlled one Meaning that uh, the flow is only very minimal no, minimal. Do not uh, allow greater volume of water to pass on Because it will also entail uh, more expenses on your part Next is in terms of uh, aside from the water no, We have also the uh, water and uh, feeding tools uh, this is the innovation that we developed dito po sa CPU. 
Uh, so, ibig sabihin po, uh, makikita po nyo, no, dapat na yung tubigan kasi, iba naman kasi ang orientation tubigan on the beader and grower competent to the, uh, the old chicks. Uh, uh, Pinag-iba namin kasi, iba kasi ang design ng uh, pen for the uh, booding compared than the uh, pen for the growers and uh, the beaders. So, halos magkatabi po ang tubig at saka yung tubigan, yung tubigan at saka yung uh, patukaan po. And uh, if you want to hub no, the infection na kung saan po there will be a minimized uh, infection, make sure that uh, there is what they call the free flowing of water. Only the controlled one. Because it is one way and how that the chicken will keep on drinking on the fresh water. And what we have observed that uh, the meat and the eggs of chicken drinking in a free flowing water po is not musky or hindi po siya malangsa. Na parang ganun siya. Uh, critical kasi yan and then uh, the design that we develop po hindi yan mahirap linisin so, hindi yan mahirap linisin at saka it is very accessible uh, both uh, on the part of the uh, farm hand and even for the chicken no? and even the design of the feeder that we have pull up for the brooder we try to develop this one whereby no, the giving of feeds can be done outside no? Except if you're going to have na kung saan, the feeder, it should be the common feeder that na makikita po nyo sa market that uh, you're going to uh, pour some uh, pizza on it and then have it be uh, 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 lagay mo naman sa loob ng, ng, ng housing o ng brother mo uh, baka uh, medyo madumihan pa but with this design that we have makikita po nyo dyan on your right side po that is the design that we have really intended no, for the chicks on the wooden age that whereby it could not be uh, so well by the, by the excreta of the manure of the chicken and uh, they could not stiff, more stiff on it so mapamatili natin na malinis yung patokaan nila because the agent of infection no, on chicken usually yung pinakabilis is on the feeding and watering throws so parang ganun po next so aside from that is what we also what call the electrical equipment uh, ito kasi mga kanakailangan po natin when we're going to establish our own projects now, either you will be on the um, uh, specialized production scheme or you'll be using what they call the uh, uh, all out production or all out production whereby um, uh, you'll be the one responsible for the producing of your own uh, the old chicks in habit be grown now, para po naman sa uh, market. Now, the bulb that we're using is different from the uh, brooding and uh, different from the um, uh, breeder. On your uh, right side po, that is uh, on the brooding. Uh, that is a 3 watts LED bulb. Uh, 3 watts only. Do not put uh, 5 watts. Uh, sobrang sobrang na kasi ang liwan lang yan for the uh, breeders. So, you have what call the 3 watts and it should be... Um, uh, installed no, in between of the two pens uh, parang ganon yan and then but in the brooding no, make sure that uh, you'll be using what they call the incandescent bulb do not use the warm LED bulb because it, it could not give uh, enough warm to your chicken except if you have what they call the uh, ceramic heater uh, but if you're going to install ceramic heater uh, you need to add the LED bulb but make sure that if you can have the warm LED bulb the better it will be no, uh, ang sikito kasi niyan is that uh, for the grower chicken and the buddha chicken no, at, the, at, uh, at that age uh, when we try to compare the pig and samson mas marami, they, they consume more of feeds on the night compared than uh, on the daytime that is why that the brighter the light, the more active they have the faster is the growth rate uh, yun ang principle behind brooding and uh, growing now, uh, in terms of the automation, no, you can install what they call the um, uh, timer, whereby there's no need for you to uh, uh, remind your caretaker that every 5 o'clock in the evening, the afternoon have it be turned on. But if you have the timer, no, automatically it will be turned on. No? Same also with your uh, controlled uh, watering uh, throws. Uh, from the uh, pressure tank no? uh, will be installed with the uh, timer and uh, solenoid bulb 
Now, for the light requirement, you know, the light requirement, for the bigger stacks for you to have what they call a uh, better performance in terms of the egg production, they are requiring about uh, at least 16 hours of uh, light. That will include the natural daylight. So meaning if the sun rises at 6 a.m. and uh, set at 6 p.m., meaning you have that 12 hours, uh, 12 hours of natural light, you just add four additional uh, lighting hours, the artificial lighting. So meaning that uh, you're going to turn on the lights uh, at uh, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. in the evening and have it be turned off after the 10 p.m. But for the uh, chicks under the organic, no, it is required that uh, the minimum of uh, the uh, maximum is 16 hours. However, if you're doing what they call the artificial building, no, uh, you must turn on the light the whole evening. The whole evening. And this is the difference between the uh, uh, boilers, no, the passive wing pile, because the passive wing pile in the first 14 days that is almost 24 uh, hours of lighting. Uh, but in the native chicken, as long as the environment in the, 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 the temperature so in, the, in the morning no, uh, and the daylight no, is uh, tolerable, uh, usually the requirement for the uh, chicks no, for the temperature and uh, the first week it should be at least uh, 31 degrees centigrade. No, parang ganon siya. And even higher, slightly higher than that, no, the better it will be. But the problem is that uh, as you increase also the heat, one way on how to uh, minimize the cost also is to have what they call the rolling curtain on the side. Uh, so that during the uh, uh, cooler part of the day, you, know, you can have the roll it down so that it can conserve you know, the uh, heat. Uh, and that is one way that you can minimize. But remember always that ventilation is very critical you know, on your chicken. Uh, with that 5% uh, accumulation of carbon dioxide, no, it will lead on to what they call common respiratory diseases. Yon. So that is why that ventilation is uh, very critical. Uh, how you can determine that there is what they call accumulation of carbon dioxide? If you are inside the house in Michigan and you smell something stinky, it begs a behind that when you enter the housing, it's somewhat like uh, your nose itchy. No, parang gusto mo nang kamutin yung ilong mo because of the, of the smell that you have. No, parang ganun yan. As the carbon dioxide increases inside the housing, parang lumabas po kayo, uh, parang nakakapagod. Ibig sabihin po, sobrang dami ng carbon dioxide niyan. And that is why that if you can observe, chicken exposed to highly carbon dioxide environment. Makikita po nyo, nananamla yan parang pagod because the, the system is we have limited amount of oxygen so have limited amount of oxygen parang ganon yan so that is why that uh, make sure the ventilation is very critical and the light uh, always remember that for the brooder from 1 to 30 days try to never use the LED warm light use the candescent bulb but uh, after that now once your chicken no attain the uh, full feeding no halos kumpleto yung balahibo pakpak niya no, you can uh, uh, reduce the exposure time no to uh, heat the typical heat uh in usually for the uh, growers no you can use even the LED bulb no LED bulb uh, have it be distributed properly for every 10 square meter you can have at least uh, 5 uh, watts of LED bulb. Now, that is what they call the the lumen requirement you know, of the chicken. Uh, they can easily access uh, for that. But make sure that the light is positioned in between the uh, alley where the way the two cages or the two pens you know, are uh, facing each other so that the light will be directly hitting you know, the uh, feeding throw so that your chicken can feed even at night. The next is in terms of your uh, hatchery and accessories. Ito kasi ang kinakailangan natin. If you'll be producing in commercial scale, you really need uh, these uh, incubators. Actually, the incubator uh, can be classified into two. You have what they call the seater and the hatcher. Yung sa kabila po nyo, yung sa kakanan po. On the right side, that is what they call the seater. And uh, uh, sa kabila naman, yung sa yellow na yan, uh, parang seater pa rin yan. Kasi yung hatcher naman po, uh, that is intended naman, whereby 
on the first 18 days now the egg will be set on the uh, sitter uh, that is why the tail is what they call the tail thing every hour it is what they call the tail thing of it and the tail thing is almost 90 degrees and uh, make sure that uh, the uh, large and up uh, the large end is on the upper portion uh, we'll be discussing more of it on Miriches about the old chicks production but uh, those are what they call the requirement the primary requirement that you have no, is that uh, if we have the hatchery artificial incubation is necessary if you have what they call a greater flock size meaning if you have 500 chicken uh, do not put the uh, nest and then allow your chicken to naturally grow the eggs why? because na baka po masira yung itlog and if you want a greater number of eggs that can be produced in a year make sure to have what they call the artificial incubation for every chicken, the native chicken, iba kasi ang pan, iba kasi ang uh, the native chicken have different abilities in terms of uh, egg laying. Unlike in the commercial bill of layers that they can lay even as higher, as high as 95% per day. Ibig sabihin, for every 100 heads of hen, they could lay as many as 95 eggs per day. But for native chicken, hindi ganun po, kaunti lang. Yoko bakit if you can still remember in my previous uh, short videos that I presented sabi natin is that na uh, halos yung kita namin dito na maximum is about 45% uh, aside from that is that down to what they call the those are what they call the requirement so kung gusto nyo pamalaga po naman no, kailangan yung housing kailangan nyo yung mga patokaan at saka watering throws nyo Kailangan nyo yung uh, uh, electrical nyo po, yung mga ilaw nyo, ano, iba, ibang klaseng ilaw. No? At saka yung, if you're doing what they call the um, uh, uh, artificial uh, incubation po, you need what they call the hatcher and sitter. Hatcher, uh, sitter on the first 18 days, and uh, on the 19th and the 22 days, no, you're going to use what they call the uh, hatcher na inilipat mo kasi ng itlog doon from the sitter doon sa hatsar kasi doon na pumapisa yung sisyo sa may hatsar hindi doon sa may sitter ang sitter kasi ang purpose yan is for itlog lang yun for setting an egg uh, for the development of the embryo however as the embryo is about to uh, uh, go out of the eggs it should be uh, put in the hatsar 